Hold on, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> hey guys, it's Tootie and welcome back to my channel. Today you guys will be seeing how I got this day look right here and it wears great throughout the day so you guys should really try it. Don't forget to comment and like on this video and subscribe to my channel since I will be uploading every Monday and Friday. Also leave down in the comments below what you guys will be wanting to see on my channel and I'll be very happy to upload some of those looks for you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. First off, I'll be priming my eyelids with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Full Coverage Concealer in Fair Neutral. Today I'll be using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. I'm not even going to try to pronounce these names. In my Sigma E55 brush, I'm going to be picking up this shade right here. And I'll be applying that all over my lid. Next with my E25 brush, I'll be picking up this shade in the palette and I'll start blending that into my crease. Next, with the same brush, I'll be picking up this shade in the palette. I'll be applying that as well in my crease and a little bit in the outer corner. Going in with my Sigma E40 brush, I'm going to continue just blending that out. Next I'll be going back in with my Sigma E55 brush and I'll be picking up this shade in the palette right here and I'll be applying that all over the lid where the other colors are not. Next I'll be going in with Maybelline's Gel Liner in Black is Black and I'll be doing a little wing. I'll be applying that with the Sigma E65 brush. This is my absolute favorite brush to do winged eyeliner with. I've tried other brushes but nothing even comes close to this brush. Just because it's not as dark as I want it to be, I'm gonna go in with the Milani High Tech Bold and I'm just gonna be going on top of that. Some days I like doing this when I want a really dark wing and my gel liner didn't do the job, but usually it does. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my face for you guys and then I'll go ahead and finish the eye look off. I'm going to start off with the Makeup Forever primer and I'll be putting that in the places that I need to have smoothed out. This primer makes your skin feel like a baby, like a baby's butt, like no joke. Next I'll be going in with my Real Techniques sponge and my Born This Way Too Faced foundation. I'm in light beige. This color is actually a little bit too dark for me right now. That's why I'm using the Real Technique sponge. Now that I have my foundation on, I'll be going back in with the Naked Skin Full Coverage Concealer in Fair Neutral and I'll be covering up some blemishes as well as highlighting. Now 
now we go ahead and blending that with my Real Technique sponge. Next I'll be going in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and to do that I'll be taking the Morphe M110 brush I'll be taking a little bit more of that Translucent Setting Powder and I'll be setting my under eyes Now that I look like a ghost, I'll be going in with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette and I'll be contouring with the Morphe M405 brush. I'll be picking up this shade right here and I'll be starting to contour with that. Now that I'm done contouring, I'm going to go ahead and finish my eyes and I'll do my blush, my lips, and my highlighter. Okay, I'm going to go back in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette and I'll be picking up the shade that I had earlier right here and I'll start smudging out my bottom lash line with the Sigma E55 brush. Okay, that color wasn't as dark as I thought it was, so I'm going to go actually be going in with this shade right here. I thought I was going to be content on how this eye look looked, but I think it needs some eyeliner on the waterline. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera just because it's kind of difficult going like this. <laughs> so I'll be right back for you guys. Now I'm just going to be doing my mascara and then my everyday eye look will be complete. Next I'll be taking <laughs> Next, I'll be taking this Tarte Entertain blush and I'll just be applying that on my cheeks. Next, I'll be taking the Morphe M601 brush and Champagne Pop mixed in with Pearl from the Becca Holiday Palette. And I will be applying that on the tops of my cheeks. I'll also be applying this down the bridge of my nose and on the little tippy top with the pearl shade. And lastly, I'll be finishing off this look with the Jeffree Star in Drogany shade. Actually, I just grabbed all parts, so I'll be back. Okay, I lied. I'm gonna be mixing Androgyny and doll parts together. But I'm gonna start off with Androgyny.
and this is the final look all together I hope you guys really enjoyed this video this is like an everyday kind of look obviously you're not gonna do contour and every day but if you want more glam in your day routine that's great but this eye especially is good for every day it's super simple and easy it'll take about 10 minutes total and it looks really nice